Mein Magen tut weh. Ist das ein Traum oder ein Halbtraum? Sie vergiften meine Nahrung. My stomach hurts. Is this a dream or a nightmare? They poison my food. They always poison my food. So this is your, well, this is my only chance. Hello faces. I don't see so many faces. You of course know who I am and who I have been for many years. I am an Egyptian. I am probably the most famous Egyptian in the world. Maybe President Sadat Farouk or Cleopatra are coming in the same group. You didn't know I was an Egyptian, did you? Ah. You know my name? Hess Rudolf. I was born in Alexandria, 26 April 1894. That means I was born under the sign of Aries, like Adolf Hitler and your beloved Queen Elizabeth II. So I was nearly an Aryan, though of course in another way I'm really an Aryan. My father was a merchant, German. I went to school in Alexandria. I had a private tutor at home as well. I remember, let me see, I remember my brother being born and I remember my parents giving me a present, a little toy carriage drawn by horses, a gun carriage. When I came back to Germany, all my life I go to Germany and from Germany, maybe twice only, but it's all my life. I came back to the Evangelisches Pädagogium in Bad Godesberg. Then I went to Switzerland. Ah, so it's three times already. Uh, no, it's more, it's much more. In Switzerland, I was at an Ecole Supérieure to study business, but I don't like business. So I come back to Hamburg to work in business. Then you see, war broke out in your country and my country in 1914. As a young, upstanding German, I volunteered for the 1st Bavarian Regiment, wounded three times, wounded twice. Joined the Air Corps, commissioned as a Lieutenant in the Air Corps. I took to flying straight away. It's a natural thing with me. Always good at it, always liked it. I have a technical mind, you see. Of course, I didn't win the Blue Max pour le mérite like a Göring. Göring was a flyer with me in the same group, but I got good campaign medals when my general presented them. It was muddy. Ah, we were behind the lines. Yeah. As he pinned them on, he said, well done, Hess. Well done, Hess. Now I feed the birds. It's as near as I can get. Two times a day I go out and feed them crumbs. They come and wait, especially for me. Uh, sparrows and all sorts. I try to have something for each one of them. But not the crows. I don't like the crows. They are selfish. They are afraid of the seagulls though. You know that? The seagulls are smaller, but when they come, the crows all fly away. Nations aren't like that. When you invade a country, most people don't fly away. Even when it's hopeless, they have no proper weapons, they will still try to fight. The crows push 
everyone around. Then when the going's getting not so good, whoosh, off they go. No man would do that, no real man would do that. The birds are the only freedom of the air I have now. My experiences of the war were like any soldiers, airmen, comradeship, privation, discipline, ideas, love of your homeland. When the war ended we had nothing which is more than I had when the next war ended. Yeah. Maybe it was necessary. You see, we never wanted war. We never wished for war. Only victory.